I thank God for you today. Uh, and as we prepare to hear from God, there's a word from the Lord this morning. There's a word from the Lord this morning. Thank you, God. And this week I was pondering how so often things can change in your life. Literally now, it only takes minutes. We used to say at one time, one day you could be up and the next day down, but things happen so quickly now that it could be minute by minute. And I'm thankful that God is still keeping us. Amen. 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 If you have your Bible this morning, or if you have your electronic instrument to retrieve the scripture, we're going to be going over to Job chapter 1, looking at the 20th through the 27th verse. Amen. Job chapter 1, going over to verse number 20. When, when you get there, say amen. Amen. Now I know you are with me. A word from God for God's people. Are we there? Amen. 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 The word of God says, Then Job arose and rent his mantle. And shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped. That's all right. That's all right. And worshiped. And worshiped. And worshiped. And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb. Naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, the Lord hath taken away, blessed be the name of the Lord. And finally, in all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. You may be seated. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, we thank you now once again. We thank you for this word. Thank you. You bless it, you hallow it. It's been given now. Lord, you sanctify it to be a seed planted in good soil for the furtherance of your kingdom. Speak to our hearts right now like only you can. Speak, Lord, in this house today. Lord, let something be said that will bless someone's life in the sanctuary or on the virtual platform. Have your way now. As I decrease, you increase. And allow your children to see Jesus Christ. These things we ask in your son Jesus' name. And for his sake, amen. 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 Very familiar text this morning. We all know the story of Job's life. And from this passage, there are some things that I want to share with you that may bless your life. If I had to tag a subject this morning, I'd simply say faith when your world is turned upside down. Faith when your world is turned upside down. I, I wonder if, if someone here other than me have had moments in your life when it appeared that your world was being rocked. When it seemed like your world was about to be turned 
upside down. You thought you had it all together and all of a sudden some things start to happen in your life that you couldn't find an explanation for. Faith when your world is turned upside down. And I know you're quiet this morning, but I believe some of you are contemplating that fact that some things have happened in your life. Yes, yes. <laughs> when you realize that you weren't in control of your circumstance or your situation. I wish I had a witness. Yes, sir. When you found out that you didn't have as much control in your life as you thought you had. But faith, when your world is turned upside down. Job had a happy family. A good and godly, prosperous man. A great man. He had seven sons and, and three daughters. And Job was healthy. And, and, it's, and, and in the text, he's wealthy. What a good life. When you can be healthy and wealthy. But then there comes this day. When Job's life is turned upside down. Enemies stole his oxen and, and killed those caring for them. And his sheep and shepherds were killed by lightning. What a strange coincidence. The Chaldeans stole his camels and, and killed their keepers. His sons and daughters died in a storm. I contend this morning, Job's life, his world was being turned upside down. Yeah. And when we come into the text, we find Job here. He's torn his robe. Yeah. Right. He shaved his head, and, and in the midst of it all, yeah. he worships. In the midst of it all, in the midst of tragedy, despair, adversity, the first thing he realizes, the most important thing to him is worship. Uh, yeah. He declared his faith was still unshaken. I, I, I wonder how many of us can declare this morning in the midst of our circumstances in the midst of our situations, that our faith is yet unshaken. Well, 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 well I, I believe I'm the only one that has days when it seems like the rabbit has. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I contend that I'm still faith. Yeah. Faith when your world is turned. Upside down. Yeah. How, how, how could Job do this? How could he find the strength and the word of God after losing everything that God has given you? Your health, your wealth, all that you have put in place and, and now it seems like it's being stripped away. The things that you consider to have bad has been taken from you. That's right. That's right. Even down to your sons and daughters. Grief sets in. See, that's not the normal paradox. Because no parent expects to outlive their children. Right. Right. But I stopped by to tell you there's no guarantees in this thing 
called life. Job had to face the fact that now I've lost my children, those that would inherit everything that I've laid up and worked for. That ought to be a warning to all of us. <laughs> While you lay it up for the next generation, Amen. you ought to get some faith Amen. to go along with yes. you. Yeah. Well, because it's not promised. And here it is. There are three things I want to share with you about Job's faith. His confession that brought him through this moment. Yeah. The first thing Job saw, he saw the Lord as a source of life. Okay. He says in the text, the Lord gave. Yeah. Yeah. He recognized where everything comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Job saw the Lord as the source yeah. of life. Well, I contend this morning that parents are but partners with God in getting life. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We may think in that process of interconnection and intercourse that we are going to bring about children, but God, if He doesn't bless the I don't care how much you get together. He's got a blessing. All life comes from the Lord. Job knew the time he had with his children was by grace. It was by grace. We all understand that even today with our own children, anytime God allots you as parents to have time with your children, it's by God's grace. Yes, sir. Yeah. All the good times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the fun times. All of the family together times. Uh -huh. But you got to remember that James says that every good and perfect gift yeah. is from the Lord. Yeah. God is the greatest giver. Yeah. His greatest gift was his son. Yeah. Yeah. But here it is. Job recognized that the Lord was the source of life. All right. I wonder how many of us have contemplated that today. That God is the source of life for us. Yeah. Amen. And I contend this morning, you don't start living for real. Until you meet the Lord. Because he said in his word. I come that you may have life. But have it more abundantly. There's so much in this world. That can take you into lack. But when you run into the Lord. I believe you start to live. He saw the Lord. As the source of life. Secondly. Job saw the Lord as sovereign over the length of life. I'm going to say it one more time. He saw the Lord as sovereign over the length of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For in the text he says, the Lord has taken away. Right. Yeah, two surprising things about life. It's a lift when death seems near and it's brevity when the future seems sure. That's two things about life. Yeah, it's lift when death seems near and it's brevity when the future seems sure. Job thought his future was secure. Yeah. He had labored, he had worked, he had planned, he had put some things in place, he had accumulated all of this stuff. Yeah. And then the Lord showed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking to somebody today. Oh, yeah. You can build bigger barns. Uh -huh. But the Lord, in the swipe of his hand, can send a wind yep. to take away everything that you build. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, he, 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 the Lord is sovereign over the length of life. Job never expected his sons and daughters to be taken away from him, but I contend this morning, nobody controls death but God. Amen. All right, all right. Yeah. So, yeah. he's God all by himself. Yes. And it is, Job understood that life is short yeah. at its longest. Because now most of us can contend we have more years behind us yeah. than we have in front of us. Life is short at its best. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing how when we're young and we're growing up, we think that we have all the time in the world. Yes, yes sir. Wow. Yeah. But as time passes, it, it seems like now we can find ourselves in a hurry trying to do some things that we missed out on yeah. when we had time. Uh -huh. Nelson Henry Smith, my pastor in Birmingham, said it best. Yeah. He says, time is a cruel friend. Yeah, I know. For you spend your life trying to catch it. Yeah, I know. And then when you get it, you don't know what to do with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, you watch it run away. Yeah, I know. It's a cruel friend. Yeah, I know. And here it is, Job had to face the cruelty that the length of life put in front of him. Yeah. He finds himself dealing with all of these obstacles. Mm -hmm. Yes, childhood seemed to be yesterday. Yeah. And, and now it is, it's important to be right with God yeah. at all times. Amen. Job didn't understand, but his faith made him strong. Yes, yes, yes. I contend, I, 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 I've had some moments in my life that I didn't understand, yeah. but it was my faith in God that made me strong. Yeah. You can't tell God what to do and when to do. Well. You can't tell God what to allow and when to allow. All right. But Job's faith kept him in the proper posture before God, because of the text, the text says he found himself renting his mantle, shaved his head, and fell down upon the ground and worshiped. All right. When you are facing the adversities of life, I promise you do better if you can get in a place of worship. Well, or you miss it. Yeah. Too many folk are running from the sanctuary they're running from the church but you need to find yourself in worship Amen. when there's trouble in your life yeah. yes sir Amen. said to some this morning this is sure as the pandemic showed us that we could worship God without entering bricks and more right. it took a pandemic for us to understand the kingdom of God. Amen. But I contend that there's going to come a day when something else is going to come. Yeah. That's going to drive some folk back <laughs> into the church. Yeah. Uh, my, my. Yeah. 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 But if you if you are if you're understanding of the text this morning, your ability and your faith and worship should not disappear because things look good in your life. Too often when, when we find easy street, when we find that place in life where it seems like we've gotten all we want, yeah. when things are going the way that we want them to go, it's easier to pull away from God, uh -huh. to put distance between you and Him. Right. But I stopped by to tell somebody this morning, things can change in the twinkling of an eye. This was just one day in Job's life. A happy man. A prosperous man. 
great wealth, good health, seven sons and, and, and three daughters, and by the end of the day, yeah. all that he had accumulated was gone. And his children died to the storm. Yes. How quickly life can change. Yes. But faith, when your world is turned upside down. Job saw the Lord as a source of life. He saw the Lord as sovereign over the length of life. But then finally, Job saw the Lord as the same no matter what happens in life. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. In the text, Job saw the Lord as the same no matter what happens in life. I wonder how many of you can say that this morning. That you see the Lord the same no matter what's happening in your life. It's amazing how some folk want to accuse God or get discouraged when things start to happen and they blame God for allowing it to happen or they're looking for an exit strategy and say God doesn't care anything about me because he left me in this thing to suffer but I stopped out and tell somebody God's the same every day. Yeah. He changes not. Yeah. Job in this, morning, in this morning in the text says this Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's easy to bless God when things are going well. But here it is. He's lost everything. But he still takes time to bless the Lord. That's a part of worship. When, when things are not going well in your life, you ought to still bless the name of the Lord. I, I continue this morning. That's why here are some of the focus in miracles because when things are not looking good in their life, they are still willing to bless the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It might not be working in my favor right now. Job was able to bless God when the waters were troubled. He was able to bless the Lord when it seems like his world was being turned upside down. Job didn't understand, so he speaks by faith. God had been faithful uh -huh. in the past. Right, right. Why should he doubt the goodness of God now? Yeah, yeah. I'm speaking to somebody today. Yeah, yeah. If God's been faithful to you in the past, right, yeah. why should you doubt God right now? Yeah. Blessed be the name yeah. of the Lord. Sovereign 
over the length of life. And finally, Job saw the Lord as the same no matter what happens in life. Well, so as I close out this morning, yeah. I want somebody to know in the sanctuary and virtually yeah. that God's love is unchanged. unchanged. Have you had some moments when things have gone bad for you? Yeah. God's love for you yeah. is still present in spite of your circumstances. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. But his love is still on the inside. Yeah. The, the cross proves that God's love is unchanged. Yeah, if you doubt God, look back at the cross. Christ died there for us. Because of God's love yes. for us. Uh -huh. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the word that he sent his only begotten son. Uh -huh. He gave him for us to pay a price that we couldn't pay. Faith when your world is turned upside down. And I contend if you're walking on easy street All right. and things look like they are always well for you, keep living. All you got to do is keep living. You'll have some days that will make you question yourself if you keep living. Every now and then, there are some things that can happen in your life that will draw you
It's turned upside down. Right. He wrenched his mouth. Yeah. Shaved his head. And he fell down upon the ground. And worship. And worship. We got to go this morning, but I think there ought to be a few worshipers in the house today. Because if he's ever done anything for us,
Yes. It's an awesome God. Yes. As, as we get ready to go this morning, faith when your world is turned upside down. The Lord speaks through Isaiah over in the 48th chapter. He says, he says this, and I, I want you to hear this this morning before we go. In verse number 10, he says, Behold, I have refined thee, not of silver. My God. I've chosen thee in the furnace of affliction for my own sake. Oh, you didn't hear that. In the furnace of affliction for my own sake. He says, even for my own sake, I will do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. I'm trying to help somebody this morning. You might be wondering why you're facing what you're facing right now in your life. But the Lord said to Israel through Isaiah, what you going through? I'm refining you. But I'm making you better. Because I allowed you to go into the furnace of a bitch. Somebody suffered right now. Y'all ain't heard me. We hope the message this morning. But I'm going to bless you before you go. Even if you say you're going through what you're going through right now, it's not because of you. It's for my sake.
this place. Yes. Somebody needs to receive that this morning. Whether you're in the sanctuary, if you're in virtual, you need to receive that. What you are dealing with and going through is not about you. He's refining you through the furnace of affliction. That's That his name will not be polluted. That no man would be able to claim his glory. See, some folk think they can deliver. But if the Lord don't move, deliverance won't come. It takes the Lord to move on your sister. We're about to go now. But I want to encourage those.
He loves somebody. You feel what they feel. I can't play with this thing. Because I know what God can do. We got to go. But you need to take it seriously. Let us go before the Lord. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. For faith. Oh, yes. Lord, we thank you for the faith. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. To still worship. Oh, when our worlds are being turned upside down. Yes. Yes. Lord, we, we, we come now at the close of worship. Lord, our, our eyes are closed and heads bowed, but our hearts are open this morning. Touch, Lord, like only you can. Speak to our afflictions right now in this place. Lord, somebody's trusting you this morning. They've been trusting you for a long time. They've been faithful. And Lord, they're, they're waiting on a move from you. Move like only you can in this place. Now, Lord, look in on our sick and shut in at home now. And those who are in the hospitals and nursing home. Lord, speak to the incarcerated. So that they might have a real revelation of who you are. Yes. I know, Lord, we took a little longer today, but we, we wanted to get in your holy presence. Yeah. For we're thankful, Lord, yes. for what you have done. That's right. We're thankful, Lord, for what you're doing, even in this moment. True, true. Yeah. And then, Lord, we thank you with a future hope yes. for the blessings to come. Yes. We thank you for being a God that changes not. For being a sovereign God all by us. We thank you. Now, Lord, as, as we prepare to depart this place, give us traveling grace. Please, God. That, Lord God, when we leave here, we'll make it to our destination safely. For those who are viewing virtually, Lord God, strengthen them, bless their families. Lord God, have your way even in their lives. Now, Father, we ask that you bless our gifts of our tithes and offering that will be brought today. Bless it in Jesus' name. That it may be used for the furtherance of the kingdom and the spreading of the gospel. We thank you now. We thank you for grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord. For you are so worthy. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest and abide with us henceforth and forevermore. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 Tell somebody you're happy to see them and you love them.